All right. Can you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yeah. All right. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record, please, and spell your last name. My name is Scott Coonrad. C O O N R A D is in David, T is in Tom. All right. State. Uh, so, C is like Coonrad. Uh, who do you currently work for? I work for the San Antonio Police Department. And what are your duties with the San Antonio? Uh, basically, we go and process all crime scenes. And I'm going to jump straight into it. On March 31st, 2022, uh, were you working on that day? Yeah. And were you called out to the scene, or called out to collect evidence in regards to the shooting? Yes, I was, uh, I was called out to assist by going to the hospital. And do you remember what hospital did you go to? Uh, can I see my report? Yes, I went to uh, Bamsey. And when you arrived at the hospital, uh, what type of evidence did you need to have? Uh, basically, I photographed the deceased individual. I collected the clothing that he was wearing, and I completed a uh, gunshot residue test on his hand. And so you would going to be marked as exhibit number 28 and 29. You recognize these photos? Yes, that looks like the yes, that looks like the uh, jacket. I believe I collected the photograph here with the lower court. And are these photographs dates twenty seven and or twenty eight and twenty nine? Sorry about that. Are yes. they true and accurate uh, depictions of the items you collected that day? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, state offer states exhibits number twenty eight and twenty nine. Pending any objection on defense. No objections, Your Honor. All right, states exhibits 28 and 29 are admitted without objection. Permission to publish, Judge? Granted. So, it's like we you said that you collected GSR that day as well. Is that correct? Yes, I completed a kit on the hands of the deceased individual. And just so that the jury is aware, so what, whenever you're performing a, a GSR kit on an individual, what do you do specifically with the kit? Uh, basically, the kit has two uh, little, they're like little vials, and they're marked right and left for the right and left hands. And uh, on the end of the vials, it's like a little sticky, uh, surface and basically we dab dab the hands according right and left and then uh, put them in the kit and there's also a little questionnaire that that we fill out and where do you get this information from as far as uh, who you're collecting the kit from uh, usually we'll get it from the individual but in this case he was deceased so yeah I just had to get it from the other, uh, you know, just for the report. So, you brought several envelopes with you before today, is that correct? Yes. So, let's start with what's been marked as E2, and I'm going to mark this as States 30. <clears throat> what's inside States 30? This is the GSR test uh, kit that I completed. And can you actually look inside? And what was inside of that envelope? Uh, the the GSR the gunshot residue test kit. I'm going to mark that as 30A. Now, can you open up this? Yeah. Okay. One moment. Uh, Judge, uh, are there any scissors around? Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Diana. Can you open that up, sir? 
Sorry about that. Uh, UEDI Hilliard had his own knife. Oh, I didn't bring it. Would you like a pocket knife? I'll do oh. that. No, this, I just want <laughs> And inside of 30A, what did you, oh, what, what was inside? These are those two little vials that I explained earlier. It says right and left hand. And here, I'll take the right hand. I'm going to mark that as states 30B. And then I'm, on, I'm going to mark the left hand as states 30C. Now, are these states 30B and 30C, are these the vials that you collected uh, on that day? Yes. Have they been altered in any ways? Or, or are they the same vials that, that you collected that day? Yes, they appear to be. Of course, they have some additional writing, which is probably from the crime lab. Mm -hmm. And uh, your honor, state would offer states 30, 30A, 30B, and 30C. Any objection? Judge, may I take the witness on board, Dyer? Yes. You did this at Brook Army Medical Center? Yes, sir. Do you know if when the deceased body was moved from the crime scene to the uh, hospital, whether his hands were gloved or anything? Uh, I'm unaware of that. Normally, that's a procedure, right? To glove someone's hands so that they don't get contaminated. Uh, sometimes when I get to the hospital, they'll have bags over their hands. It just depends on the hospital. Did this individual have bags on his hands? Um, I, I can't remember unless it's in the pictures. We have no objections, Judge. All right, states exhibits uh, 30, 30, A, B, and C are admitted without objection. And then uh, finally, uh, CSI Coonrat, you brought one other envelope, correct? Yes. Okay. And were you the one that collected this envelope in any way? No. But is this envelope connected with this case? Yes. And how do you know that it's connected with this case? It has the same case number on the uh, label as mine. Okay. And where did you collect this piece of evidence or this envelope from? From the uh, property room. And is that a secure facility? Yes. So I'm going to mark that as state's exhibit number 31. And has this state's exhibit number 31, has it been in your possession since you took it from the property lab or property room? Yes. Your Honor, pass it this. Defense. What was S31 again? 31 is a sealed envelope that contains some evidence, but I didn't collect it. So it hasn't been opened. So all you did was bring it to court today? Yes, sir. <clears throat> now, uh, you performed the GSR test on the deceased, correct? Uh, I performed the kit. Yes. yes, you're the ones that took the sample. Yes. You have nothing to say with respect to the results. You don't know if they're positive, negative, or indefinite, or anything else. Do you? No, sir. That, that is all of the crime lab. Okay. Uh, and what time did you perform this examination? I can't say the exact time. It's whenever I got to the hospital. Was that on the same day, March 31st, yes. 2022? Yes. Okay, so it would have been sometime after 5 o'clock in the afternoon. 
Yes, because as, as, as soon as as soon as I got to the hospital and was shown the individual, I took pictures and completed the test. With respect to the clothes, uh, what clothes did you remove from the deceased? Uh, I didn't remove any clothes that was already done. They just gave me a bag with it, and then I took it back to the office, photographed it, and packaged it. So all you did was transport it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. No further questions, Your Honor. State? Another uh, state judge. All right, is this witness excused or subject for recall? Uh, excuse me. Excuse All right, the rule has been invoked. That means you can't discuss your testimony with anyone. The only persons you're allowed to speak to are attorneys for the state or the defense. Yes, All right, thank you. And I'll give you a chance to make exchanges with oh. the court reporter. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Oh, you can just leave them here. I'll take them. <laughs> 